Hi, this is Ruth again from the Rome River Library, and as promised, I show, I'm going to show you how to access the uh, eBooks Minnesota on a mobile device. So I'm going to switch over to the library's computers. You can see here's the library's homepage. I want to highlight these little video tutorials that you see over here. I've circled it. And when you expand it, there are all sorts of how-to options for learning some of the library services. We can see BiblioBoard is right here, and it will show you how to load it onto both an Android and an iOS device, as well as a Kindle Fire. But I'm going to let you view those on your own. I want to give you a few hints as you get in. You'll notice that. Sorry, had to wet my whistle. That you can sign in if you've already created an account, but if you haven't, you can click on this Get Started Now to create a profile. <coughs> Excuse me again. But you do not have to create that profile. You can see we can click on that Explore. When you create the profile, you'll see that your email address is optional. But we all know we create a ton of usernames and passwords and it's hard to remember them all. So if you put an email address in here, it will you'll be able to get notification to be able to change that password. But when we go into Explore, it always comes up with a collection that it's going to display. But like in many websites, it'll have that little magnifying glass to do a search. And because we are using Because of Winn-Dixie as the statewide book club title, that is the search I did. And if I click on read, you'll notice that it comes up with a title and it lets me read it. I can mark it as a favorite. I can share it with a group to a social media site or I can add it to my offline bookshelf. What that offline bookshelf will enable you to do is read it when you don't have an internet connection. And here I've added it to my offline bookshelf. Again, it's going to prompt me to go ahead and add it. If I happen to be in my account and I want to see what's in my offline bookshelf, I can click on this recents. But if I'm using my device and I don't have access to the internet and I want to get it, it's going to say, oh, you're offline. Do you want to go to your bookshelf? And yes, I do. I want to go there now. And when I click on it, there is the item that I have put on my bookshelf and I can continue reading it. It's as easy as that. Again, you have the option of reading it right on the computer without signing in, creating an account, or you can put the app on your device and take the book with you. That's all there is for today. Bye now.